very good uh, evening from the desert in Masak area of Alayan. Uh, here after a uh, shower two years before uh, two weeks before we have now very good and uh, beautiful vegetation the blossom of eremorium uh, egyptian uh, egyptiacum uh, which is the uh, species of brassicaceae uh, 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 the blossom of this uh, plant, uh, it is the family of mustard, uh, mustard uh, vegetable uh, group. So this is the wild ancestor of our, uh, of our uh, vegetables. And this plant is now, uh, you can see, it is blossom everywhere here. And that is very good food for insects, beetles, uh, um, uh, rodents, um, uh, uh, many, many sheep, uh, um, uh, deers, and other uh, wild animals. Especially the flowers are very beautiful and they have very tasty nectar for the, uh, for the honeybee. Uh, I have seen many honeybees here, so it is uh, very good this time. You can find honeybee uh, worm uh, in uh, different trees. So if I can show you, I see one uh, butterfly. Uh, many, many birds, many uh, beautiful creatures. Now you can see here in the desert. So uh, if uh, I walk here uh, through, uh, through different uh, places, I can show you very, very uh, uh, beautiful places here in the desert. Uh, you know, the, the only little rain, little shower uh, can make the desert uh, very beautiful and very uh, charming. So here was little uh, rain uh, um, two weeks before and uh, we have now, we can see almost all the vegetation is very fresh and very uh, beautiful and we can see the insects the 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 butterflies the uh, the the uh, the dagger uh, fly we, this is called dagger fly so you can see beautiful very very beautiful flowers very beautiful flowers you uh, because uh, one year before we grazed uh, our camel here and uh, this area is full of uh, camel manure. So this manure is also helping the soil fertility, you can see. Uh, so now we have very healthy, very, you can see the camel manure and the, and the beautiful plants. Eremobium, uh, uh, Eremobium egyptiacum. Eremobium egyptiacum, it is uh, from the family uh, Brassicaceae, uh, uh, which is the wild ancestor of many, many vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, uh, uh, broccoli, mustard oil, rapeseed, and many more. And uh, if you uh, will ever visit the desert, you will feel very, very uh, attractive and very good smell, fragrance from, uh, from these plants. You can see. I can feel the, the, the smell, the fragrance. You can see each, each uh, flower has four uh, uh, petals four petals each flower has four petals and uh, now we can see that here is you can see the pod this is the pod this one so now they are making their seeds so you can see very beautiful uh, uh, beautiful uh, landscape with the uh, little rain 
here this is a uh, this is saxal plant which is uh, the botanical name is heloxylan uh, recurvum and uh, i hope you will enjoy this uh, beautiful visit with me of the desert very beautiful very beautiful the arabian desert is very beautiful very beautiful very lively we have a lot of plants this is cypress grass this is eremo uh, eremorium uh, egyptiacum and uh, we have other species saxal plant this uh, the before the people were um, used to make uh, uh, some salad from the leaves of this plant this is fra, from heloxylan species and it has very good uh, uh, level of uh, nutrients especially the salts so the people used to cut it in small small very small pieces and put on some rice or something and eat it so this plant is uh, still in my uh, work to to identify the taxonomic classification but some i know like this one dipterigium glaucum dipterigium glaucum it also has very beautiful small uh, yellow uh, flowers you can see and these are the seeds very special seeds there is one black strong seed inside uh, these uh, they they attach with the body with the with the uh, with the clothes of the people and travel to other places to 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 spread usually the the desert plants they they try to reach to other places and uh, quickly complete their life cycle like you see in two weeks zygophyllum cutterancy this is zygophyllum uh, which is a uh, very specialized very highly adapted uh, uh, shrub of the desert it is found in a very uh, uh, wide range of ecosystems middle east arabia persia pakistan india uh, and many places and there are many uh, species uh, here you can see they have like bulbs like uh, leaf and the while one life uh, one leaf is divided in two leaflet two leaflet you can see and it is rich with water so usually the people say that the camel do not drink water or something because the uh, sometimes they they eat the plants which have a lot of water you can see and this water the people use it for uh, sunblock and to uh, for the uh, sunblock the skin and the face and the because uh, if you are walking in the desert and the sun is uh, there is soaring sunshine you can just put or wash your face your hands with the uh, with the fluid of uh, the leaves so it will not uh, the sun will not harm you you can see uh, here we can see a lot of insects flies because this is very good season for them uh, they have enough food i have seen many birds many seasonal birds will come will arrive Some are small, not mature yet. They will mature within few days. You can see even the very small in plants, they have the flowers now to complete the life cycle and to, and to spread the seed for the next season. These plants are seasonal. They are not even annual. So... <laughs> This plant is perennial. This is called uh, cypress grass. This is very good food for 
a wide range of livestock animals. Here you can see a lot of, a lot of plants. This is called uh, tribulus, tribulus plant. It uh, gives very beautiful uh, yellow flowers. This is again Dipteridium glaucum. Uh, I hope you will learn something from my uh, lives, live uh, videos. This uh, you can see the very long, long roots of the cypress grass. To, to absorb the moisture uh, in the morning time because uh, in the very early morning here is more moisture in the air uh, because uh, the wind or the, uh, the the wind come from the uh, from the seaside which is uh, we call it uh, heavy wind and it has uh, a lot of uh, moisture so you can see with this uh, little uh, rain you can see this area is green every every place is very beautiful though this year there were not uh, very good very enough for uh, rains this is uh, we we call it tribulus and it has very beautiful and you can see i think the very small very small insects inside the flower i think here you can see so these are perennial plants uh, we call it shrub or bushes and uh, that provide very good food uh, for the livestock, for the wildlife, for the camels, even for the birds, because this season you can see every can see this year, this like, uh, period uh, of time. Hours you can see here. These uh, birds by the ladybugs, by other bugs, so that is food for large big animals, lion, rhino, elephant, no, including insects, bugs, bees, everything which is living and breeding beyond the human custody is called wildlife. So you can see the beautiful shrubs here. Uh, this still need to be documented. I have no documentation for this plant. I don't know what is this and I have searched a lot, still I am not successful. These are the pods, uh, they have red flowers, I think you can see. You can see these are the aphids. The small, small insects, you can see insects are pests. Uh, they are attached to the, to the leaf of the cypress grass to, to drink the water, the, 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 the fluid, the mixture, uh, which has nutrients and water both. So after a few days, I will show you here many bugs will arrive. 
then they eat these aphids and the birds will come, they, they, they eat the bugs. So this way the, this cycle works. And uh, uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm sure later I will uh, upload it on my YouTube channel, Camel for All. So you will see, you will enjoy the beautiful uh, visit of the beautiful desert. Please uh, do not forget to subscribe and share my uh, channel. It is just for educational purpose. I am not looking for my personal uh, gains or uh, for my uh, personal publicity. I just want to connect you people with the nature, with the knowledge, with the with the with the understanding of the of the nature, sustainability, uh, somehow the, 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 the evolution and how the things work. So you can see here, very beautiful, very, very, extremely beautiful. And I can feel much fragrance, very, very, very attractive and uh, a beautiful uh, uh, smell of the, the flowers. So I hope you will enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please. And at the end, you can see the beautiful camels. The heifers. We call it Bakara, Bakara, Bakara. The camel heifers are actually called Bakara in Arabic. So the best terminology for the camel is the Arabic ter terminology because the camel was domesticated in Arabian regions, Arabian Peninsula. And the terminology used by the local people for the camel is the best terminology. And we should use and promote this terminology. These are called Bakara. Many, they are called Bakarat, one is Bakara. But we can use simply the word Bakara for the camel heifers. Bakara, B-A-K-R-A. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon.